Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Arania White and today is a very special episode in my cooking series. We have officially been on YouTube for a month now, so I thought you should know a little bit more about me. I asked you over on my Instagram to ask me your questions and I got over 250 replies. So I condensed that down to the most asked questions and I'm gonna answer those while also giving you a really simple uh, gnocchetti recipe today, which will be super fun. So let's get cooking. So gnocchetti is similar to gnocchi, as you can tell by the name. It is a Roman dish. It is made with spinach and ricotta is gonna be the base of our dough, um, as well as a little bit of flour and an egg and some seasoning. So it's super delicious. And we're gonna serve that with a sage butter sauce really amazing especially on days like today it's pouring rain outside just a little bit of healthy comfort food for this recipe you will need fresh spinach ricotta one egg as fresh as possible fresh grated parmigiano reggiano salted butter and fresh sage to start we are going to bring a pot of slightly salted water to a boil so while we wait for that water to come to a boil, I thought I'd answer your most asked question by far, which is where am I from? And I am actually currently here at the moment. I am from a small town in Colorado outside of Boulder. Grew up on the foothills of the Rocky Mountains. It's super beautiful here. Um, we have all seasons, lots of lovely produce, and the people are just as friendly as can be. I love it. It will definitely forever be my home and I always tend to come back here. Um, I've lived a lot of other places. As you know, if you follow my blog, I've lived in Europe, um, New York City, Portland, Oregon, so kind of all over. Um, but I'm here right now during COVID to be near my family, which I am so grateful to be surrounded by everyone I love at the moment. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm from, Colorado. Alrighty, now that our water has come to a boil, we are going to add in our spinach. We're going to cook that for about two minutes until tender. Question number two was how old am I? And I am 24. My birthday is in December, um, so I'm a Sagittarius if that matters to anyone. <laughs> but yeah, 24 years old this year. Once the spinach is tender, we are going to remove it with a slotted spoon. We are going to keep the cooking liquid to use later once we make our gnocchetti and we are going to use a clean dish towel to squeeze out any excess water in the spinach. Alrighty, before we get mixing I thought I'd answer another one of your questions. Um, so this one was also super highly requested and it was what is my favorite travel destination that I've been to in the past if you follow my Instagram or my food blog, Feasting Season, you know I used to travel a lot. I still travel a little, but not as much as I used to. Um, so I've been quite a few places, which I'm super lucky to have traveled as much as I have at my age. Um, but a very specific place that was super, super special to me and just brings a lot of joy whenever I think about it was my last trip to France with my grandmother. We were in Nice, in France, on the Côte d'Azur, and we ended up staying totally by accident in Matisse's apartment. So the great artist Matisse, um, he had a studio in Nice as well as an apartment that doubled as a studio, and we were staying in his apartment with the most beautiful view of the Riviera and the palm trees, and it was just absolutely heaven. It was magic completely. He's one of my favorite artists, so it was just one of those times we just were in complete heaven. I'll insert some pictures of this incredible place. If I could live there, I would in a heartbeat. It was, it was so amazing. Alrighty, so to mix, we are going to combine our spinach with our ricotta. A little bit of salt and pepper. A 
and nutmeg, about one fourth teaspoon. We are going to mix that together before adding in our egg. I got asked by a few people how many animals I have as well as the names of my animals. So I'll tell you, I have five animals currently. We have our cat, Chicken, which um, she was a stray in Mexico. We adopted her, she's about two weeks old. Um, she was abandoned by her mommy, and so my boyfriend and I smuggled her back into the US, and she is definitely the baby of the household. We <laughs> adore her, she's super spoiled. Um, we have my dog, Jude who is a Royal Standard Poodle, so he is huge, he's super tall, he's the most loving, gentle, sweet dog on the planet. I couldn't ask for a better dog. He's just been amazing. He's eight years old and is just the love of my life. He's so wonderful. We have our two chickens, Lucy and Dot. Lucy is the queen of the roost. She's the big girl, super, super friendly, so sweet. Little Dot is a little bit more anxious, doesn't like being held as much, but is super amazing, has the most incredible eggs. Um, they're not laying just at the moment because it's a little bit too cold out, but hopefully they'll start up again in summer, but they are just so sweet and amazing. We also have our large rabbit named Carrot, who was a rescue. She came to us um, already four years old. Her previous owners moved and couldn't take care of her anymore, so we adopted her. And she is an outdoor rabbit. Um, she has a heater and everything out there, but yep, she just hangs out with the chickens and they're all best friends. Now that our mixture is completely combined, we're going to take a small teaspoon sized amount of the sticky mixture. I'm going to roll that into somewhat of a ball. And I have filled a pie pan with a little bit of flour um, just to coat the bottom. And we're going to just drop our little ball in and rub it around. And there we have our new kitty. We're going to set that aside. Question. What chicken? What are you crying for? I told you she's the baby of the house. She always has to have what she wants when she wants it. The next question I got that I'll answer while making the rest of these miyokiti um, was who my style icon is, which I'm flattered anyone would want to know. <laughs> um, but I think the root of my style comes from watching old films with both my grandmothers growing up. Uh, my grandma Pinky um, would watch, you know, the French films, the 1960 through 1970 films with Bridget Bardot and Jane Birkin, and so that very much influenced my style, I think, seeing these gorgeous women that were, you know, wearing very feminine clothes but playing these really strong roles. And I think that that definitely plays a big part in my fashion choices today. And my other grandma, Norma, she loves Audrey Hepburn. And so I watched, you know, all the Audrey Hepburn movies growing up and I absolutely adored her. And I look nothing like her, but I think um, her style definitely played a big part in who I am as well as how I dress. But yeah, I just think she was a super beautiful soul and a really strong, amazing woman to emulate. So yeah, I think that those are my main inspirations as well as my grandmothers in the 1960s, 1970s were both so stylish and amazing. And I have a lot of pieces from their closets that I wear. So I think that they're, they're definitely my style icons too, my grandmas. <laughs> Now that we have made all of our gnocchi, they are definitely not the most beautiful things in the world, but they sure are delicious. We're going to bring that pot of water that we used earlier to soften the spinach. We're going to bring that back up to a boil and we are going to make our brown butter and sage sauce. 
The next question that you all asked was what my favorite meal is and it has to be pasta. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I make pasta at least three or four times a week. I love it in all its forms. My favorite thing to make is my spicy pumpkin pasta. Um, that's kind of like a vodka sauce but made with pumpkin puree and in fall winter it is just to die for. While we bring the water to a boil, we are going to melt our butter to make our brown butter and sage sauce for the gnocchetti. Once the butter begins to melt, we are going to add in our sage leaves. We are going to cook that until the butter begins to caramelize and has the smell of hazelnuts. Once the butter has caramelized, we are going to remove that from heat and hopefully our water is now at a rolling boil and we are going to add in our gnocchetti. These only need to cook for about one minute. Once the gnocchetti start to rise to the surface, they'll begin to float, they are done. So we're gonna remove those with a slotted spoon and place right into our butter. A lot of you asked if I prefer sweet or savory foods and it is an overwhelming 150% savory foods. I like sweet foods and I love making desserts, especially tarts, things like that are some of my favorite things to make, but savory all the way. And the final step is just to put some fresh Parmigiano Reggiano over the top. And we are done. The final question before I dig into these gnocchetti is if I have any upcoming travel plans and I do. I am so excited to be sharing with you all that I will be traveling back to my favorite part of the world. I will be in Europe, in Italy and Croatia in May and June. Um, I'm traveling over there for business but I will be filming lots of fun cooking tutorials as well as travel vlogs. Um, we'll be going to the local markets and cooking with some of the greatest home chefs of the world. So definitely make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like and comment on this video if you enjoyed it and I will see you next week.